Hey there, adventurers! Welcome back to Joyful Adventure Audits, where we explore the hidden gems and cultural treasures of our cities. Today, we find ourselves outside the historic South Yardley Library, nestled in the heart of Birmingham. Now, you might be wondering why we're here today. Well, unfortunately, there's a cloud of uncertainty looming over this beloved community institution. You see, Birmingham City Council is facing some tough financial times, and that means our libraries are at risk. But before we dive into the current situation, let's take a moment to appreciate the rich history of South Yardley. Did you know that this library was one of several opened in response to the burgeoning suburban development of the 1930s? It's a testament to the growth and evolution of this vibrant community. South Yardley itself is a predominantly residential area bustling with life and diversity. Over the years, its population has steadily grown, reflecting the multicultural tapestry of Birmingham as a whole. And who could forget the iconic Swan Shopping Centre? Though it faced challenges in recent years, it has since been revitalised, breathing new life into the neighbourhood. But back to the matter at hand. With Birmingham City Council grappling with financial woes, our beloved South Yardley Library, along with many others, is in jeopardy. Major cuts are on the horizon, and the fate of our libraries hangs in the balance. Friends, it's a troubling time. We don't yet know which libraries will be spared and which will face closure. But one thing is clear, every library is at risk until a decision is made. However, all is not lost. Our communities have a voice, and it's essential that we make it heard. Local groups and volunteers have the power to step in and rescue these vital institutions, ensuring they remain accessible to all. So, let's stand together, raise our voices, and fight for the future of our libraries. Because in the end, it's not just about books, it's about preserving the heart and soul of our communities.